Hello and welcome to this latest in the series of tutorials for Excel beginners. In this video we're going to start looking at the IF function. It's a very useful part of Excel and it, it's something that can give you information based on other values on the spreadsheet. And I've just outlined here the structure of the function to give you an idea of what's, what's involved. There are basically three parts to this calculation or function. The first part is a question and I've written down a question here which is are we sold out of product A and there can only be two answers to that yes we are or no we're not so the next part of the function is what do we do if it's true in other words what do we do if we are sold out and the answer to that here is order more and then the other part of it is well what if we're not sold out we have product A still in stock and the other part of that is to say stock is okay so these two parts, order more and stock OK, are messages that would appear in a cell depending on the answer to this question. So what I'm going to do now is show you an example of the function in action. It'll all become a lot clearer, I hope. OK, I'm just going to go back to another sheet. And what I have here is a spreadsheet that has got some, some computer parts on for a computer build and I have two columns of prices one from supplier A and one from supplier B and all I want to do is find out which of those two is the best value so the first thing I need to do is click in the cell where I want the result to appear, to appear. and on this particular spreadsheet that cell is Z4 and then as with any calculation in Excel press the equals key that tells Excel that whatever follows will, put, will be part of a calculation or in this case a function type the name of the function which in this case is pretty straightforward just the word if and then we do open bracket that's shift and the number nine on the keyboard and then I'm going to click on the value in supplier A because the question I want to ask is is supplier A cheaper than supplier B so I'm going to click on that value there 7741 and then do the less than symbol and then click on the value underneath supplier B which is that 7499 value and that basically is a question is supplier A cheaper than supplier B and as far as the formula is concerned it's is X4 less than Y4 so I'm going to type a comma now to separate this part of the function from the next part which is what I want to have happen if it's true and all I want is the word to appear on the screen or the words supplier A indicating that supplier A is the best value so I'm going to simply type out supplier A and you notice I type that between quotation marks because it's a piece of text rather than the value again a comma and the final part is what do I want to appear on the screen if the question is not true in other words if supplier B is the best value well obviously I want the words supplier B to appear and again between quotation marks to indicate it's text rather than the value close the brackets which is shift and zero and if we go back and look at the formula bar just check that function again so equals if that tells Excel which function it is again between parentheses all the parts of the the function the first part of the question is X4 less than Y4 the second part what do we want to appear on the screen if that's true supplier A and the final part what do you want to appear on the screen if it's not true supplier B so I'm happy with that I'm going to click on the tick to accept that and if we go back to the spreadsheet we'll see supplier B appears as the best value supplier now I can simply copy this down now and it'll use the relative cell referencing for each of those rows to indicate which of the best supplier for each of the, the items listed so you can see we've got some B's and some A's so it's different values okay now I've got some blank cells here that I don't want to have this function appear in so what I'm going to, going to do here is simply click in the function that's in Z8 which is the last one in that uh, little list I'm going to right click and copy that go down to cell Z12 which is where my values begin again click into that cell right click and paste and then the function continues down I'm going to copy that down the remainder of those cells and as I do that you'll see it'll just use again the cell, relative cell referencing to indicate which is the best value supplier so that's just a very simple example of using the if function you can see how quickly it is to create you can see the different parts of the function 
and um, that's all it does really, it just gives you some useful information and sometimes it's a quicker way of identifying in this case which is the best value you can obviously compare the values but that's a nice quick way of just saying which supplier is the best okay I'll show you one more example and if I go to another spreadsheet and this is one you'll have seen if you watch the percentages video previously I've added a, a column onto this particular spreadsheet and this is the one where Fred's doing his uh, movie events and all I want to do here is have a simple message appear to indicate if the film has been sold out or not okay so I've added a column here as I say the status column and so I'm going to go to the first cell underneath that I'm going to create the function so again equals type if on the keyboard open bracket and the question I want to ask is is the venue sold out and the way I'm going to do that is click on the percentage of ca capacity sold and see if see if it's equal to a hundred percent which would tell me that it is sold out so if in this case D7 or that value that currently is 85 percent if that becomes a hundred percent then it's sold out so if it is a hundred percent what do I want to have happen well I'm going to type the comma first to separate the two parts of the argument or the, the different parts of the argument in the function and the first thing I want to have happen is the word sold out appear I'll do it all in capitals so it's very dramatic there you go sold out comma again to separate that from the next part of the the argument which is to say what you want to have appear on the screen if the venue isn't sold out and I'm going to have the word seats available appear okay simple as that really close the bracket again and if we just have a quick look at the formula again there's the word if to tell Excel what type of function it is is D7 hundred percent if it is put the word sold out on there if it isn't put the words seats available on there and again if you're using text remember to put them between quotation marks click on the old tick to accept that calculation or the formula and we get seats available I'm going to copy that down to the other cells again so at the moment they're all showing seats available and uh, let's take a couple of those movies and sell them out so if we go to tickets sold for Greece and we take that up to the capacity which is 150 press the enter key instantly the status shows it's sold out and if we go down to the Wizard of Oz do the same thing move that ticket sold to 150 press the enter key you'll see again sold out appears so those are a couple of examples to show you how the if function works um, in the next video I'll show you a bit more on using the if function how you can extend it and ask different questions within the same function Okay, hope that video was useful. Uh, thank you for watching again. Thanks for all the comments and ratings. Much appreciated, and I'll see you next time.